So in the south side of the map, we have our teal or zerg player from Red Bloods. It's Spazy Maisy. Who opened with a hatchery first into his pool, nothing too crazy, a few zerglings on the way. And other than that, not too much else to talk about. As in the north side of the map, we have our red Terran player opening with command center first from Axia Mesa. It's Rio. So we're going up here in the top right, uh, in the top side. Spazy Maze is down in the south. The current score is 1-0 right now in this best of seven all kill series. So apologies for the slight delay, slight downtime. Um, don't really know what happened, but um, we had some internet issues. All fixed now, I hope. And um, yeah, let's see where this goes. I mean, today would be the worst possible day for a, for a big internet failure, right? Because we've got so many matches to cover. We've got a whole day of streaming ahead of us. What a day it would be for the internet to actually break down. So hopefully that's in our past. Hopefully it's behind us now. And we'll see what happens next. Thank you for tuning in, by the way, guys. As again, this is a bit of a slow opening. CC first, hatch first. Not too much going to be going down apart from these couple of marines fending off these uh, links. So shout out to you guys for tuning in. Thanks for uh, checking out the stream. Hope you enjoy the show. I know we've got a lot of uh, Axiom fans in here tonight. At, or tonight, uh, today. It's not tonight, is it? Um, so I know we've got a lot of Axiom fans in here, so um, I know we've got a lot of Red Bloods fans as well. I saw a couple uh, at the start of the last game, I saw we had a couple of guys cheering for Red Bloods, so um, so yeah. Thanks for checking it out, and uh, of course if you do enjoy the show, do feel free to hit that follow button maybe, and uh, come and check us out again in the future. Double gas down here for Spazy Maisy, taking at about 5.30 I guess in this game and a Rotron on the way as well so we'll see what he wants to do with this, he's going up to kind of 41 drones and if he makes some more drones he's probably not going to all in so this is looking as though it's just going to be some defensive roaches coming out of Spazy Maisy in the next few moments here. An armory on the way in the top side of this main base mineral line for Rio and a uh, marine coming in and uh, trying to stop this overlord. Which is going to be able to scout that third base, but what is really important is he sees that third base is a little bit later than usual. He sees a second gas being taken as well. And so Spazy Maisy should start to realize that a couple of things are a little bit off right now in terms of why is that third command sent a bit later than usual? Why is that second gas being taken instead of extra barracks being put down? What's going on? And it should probably click that this is going to be some kind of hellback play. It shouldn't be, he, he shouldn't think it's Banshee because, you know, there wasn't that second gas early. And if it is Banshee, it's going to be Cloakless Banshee. Um, so yeah, that's what I, you know, I think this should point towards it just being Hellbats and nothing else, despite not seeing the armory. And well, now with a couple of roaches, he did see those Hellions morph into Hellbats. So we're not actually going to get all too much done here, but this wasn't a very committed attack. And with double barracks, double engineering, baby and added on to home, he's just looking to get set to continue on in the game. A lair has been finished and a spire started here for Spazy Maisy as some Hellions looking to get by in towards the main base, but a nice block! Perfect block, actually. Um, although, that being said, I, for a moment I thought he was actually going to kind of block them here. Um, and then he let them get a little bit further on, and that may have cost him the lives of those four drones. But not the end of the world could have been a lot worse if they had managed to make their way all the way into the main base. So these Hellions heading north going to look to see what they can get up to next and uh, what's happening with those. Uh, if, anything can, if they can do anything. 1-1's um, one on the way right now as well from Ryung. Uh, and apart from that, not much to talk about. I mean, that Spire coming up and uh, circling speed as well. No Bane Nest just yet, but I imagine that's going to be added on soon. And we're just going to see a pretty standard kind of Ling Bling Muta composition out of Spazy Maisy. Um, doesn't look as though anything else is going to be really be happening for him. I mean, he got them first three roaches out just for defense. And now they've served their purpose. And he's just getting into the rest of his upgrades. And uh, expecting Evolution Chambers coming down soon as well. I mean, right now he's really looking to spend all of his gas possible just on Mutalisks. So he's going to start plus one and eight Mutalisks or so. And um, with those, going to look to try and do some damage, keep his opponent back a little bit. But he might run into a little spot of bother because there are some units moving across the map here from Ryung. And, you know, he doesn't really have any units to deal with this right now. Um, he actually has absolutely nothing to deal with this. He's got four Roaches which are not going to be enough, and he's going to have the Mutalisks, which are not going to be great against the Marines. That being said, they don't have combat shields, they don't have 1-1, one, one. so there's a possibility they might be able to do something, as these Queens need to pull back very quickly, the Mutas as well, and these Halbats in the front are going to be something you need to get rid of with their Mutalisks before dealing with the rest of this army, and uh, the Halbats are going to go down pretty quickly, to be fair, but uh, going to start losing some drones over towards his third base, and Ryung, with this little bit of a timing here, 
Gonna get quite a bit of damage done. Eight, nine workers killed. And he sees the Mutalisks coming in this early as well. So now he has plenty of time to set up his turrets and prepare his defense at home. Um, so that these Mutalisks aren't going to achieve all too much. So nine workers killed. Pretty decent and uh, forces Spazy Mazy to make some more ba uh, workers once again. And uh, with 2 2 starting up, he's going to be so far ahead on the upgrades because Double Evolution Chamber is only just now starting for Spazy Mazy. So he's uh, flying with these mirrors and he's going to try and pick off a Marine or two. With a Medivac and the potential for Stim, he's probably not going to be too successful with this unless he really kind of comes in with everything right now. And it looks as though he just feels as though he might be able to kind of take down the Marines and go from there, but he just doesn't have enough. Maybe he's had some more Lings or something, um, but right now he just doesn't, and he's just going to head towards the natural instead here, and uh, just look to see what he, damage he can do in here, and, you know, there's a deeper also he can pick off. I mean, the turret coverage is looking pretty good from Ryung, turret in the natural, and a turret in actually nothing in the main base, so uh, turret on the production. That's about it, so not too much as uh, Space and Maisie forced to turn away here. Ryung does hit a supply block after losing that depot, and uh, Space and Maisie back at home starts his own upgrades. As um, he is really trailing on those right now, and that is definitely problematic as he probably wants to add on another 15 drones or so so he can get up to that 80 work account and uh, start saturating that fourth base, especially the gases on that fourth base, so he can start uh, building up that bank and not only building up the bank, just you know, generally being a Zerg player, which is being able to just spam out a set of units after units after units. Alright, so. Yeah, this is going to be falling back right now. We've been following these for quite a while. Let's go see what the bio's up to. Not too much, just moving forwards a little bit outside of its uh, outside of his third base, which is very well defended right now. Nice wall in to keep that bunker safe. Um, yeah, this is again just trying to find a way to do whatever they can. Twenty-eight bane lanes being morphed in right now. Bane lane speed has only just started, so I mean it's going to be a while until that comes in. Probably could have gone for that turret if you would have liked, as we see plus two um, uh, flyer attack coming up as well right now for Spazy Maisy. And uh, he's just going to fall back with these Mutalisks at this point and um, intercept this Marine on the tower as well. Overseer going to join up and uh, with that Numatized Capris is able to spread his overholds out a little bit more to watch for drops. And he sees this army coming forwards towards him as well. Now I feel as though he should have almost enough units to deal with this. He loses a Mutalisk there. I mean he was morphing in a lot of Bane Lanes before but he doesn't have Bane Speed just yet. He's about to get 1-1 one, one, but 2-2 two is about to kick in for Ryung. So this is a great upgrade uh, timing for Ryung where he's going to be able to fight with that upgrade advantage and look to try and get something done as these mutas are slowly picking away just at a marine or two whenever they can. And uh, the supply is very even right now, down in supply and down in upgrades, Spazy Maisy will have to fight into this at some point soon and here come a lot of reinforcements from Ryung as well so this army is about to get exponentially stronger from our Terran player but here we go, Spazy Maisy is going to start moving forwards and the first uh, mine hits don't really do too much, but Bane is starting to hit against these Marauders, not the way he really wants to be trading, and the Mutas going a little bit too far ahead of the rest of the Zerg army, and losing a lot of those against Marines when there wasn't Zerglings or Bane nearby to kind of take the t attention away from the Mutalisks. Now there's uh, some more Bane being morphed in, but Ryong, he's not scared of them, he saw them starting to morph, so he knows how long he's got here to just fight against this army, and he's going to take down a lot of the Zerglings, the Mutas taking a lot of damage as well. There's this Bane that's very far forward, the Evolution Chamber as well, in a bit of a weird position, and is Spazy Mazy going to be able to hold Hold on, it's going to be tough, especially if reinforcements continue to stream in here from Ryung, consistently coming across the map. The Mutalist count is continuing to dwindle, and there just seems to be way too much for our Terran player. Those upgrades are going to be helping out so much as well in all of these uh, fights, and just allowing him to trade that a little bit more efficiently. If we check that resources lost, oh my god, 11k to 6k, Ryung takes down the Bane Nest and with that should probably be able to secure himself this game as the Evo Chamber is going to fall as well. Some more mines just borrowing. And unboring, and um, maybe just gonna go take the fourth base. Spazy Maisy gonna try and hang in here, try and last as long as he can as this base starts to get taken down and it will fall. And I mean, what can Spazy Maisy do? Back at home, Ryung, fourth command center being built. Because he has the map control, he is able to build it in position. He's not afraid. The Space Amazing is going to come forward here and look to see if he can get them Balan connections. And they were pretty good connections there. But a couple of mines clean up the rest. And from there, it's just going to be way too much bio. Able to move forwards. GG is called and very strong.